Yeah, just make yourself at home. <laughs> Everything air guns. Tom from Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah, these are the vigilante here on this side. I'm gonna cut into this and uh, see if we can uh, look better at the ballistics. But I, I just thought it might be cool to get an underlit view of it too. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera though. It is, but I thought it'd be better. Um, anyway, and then while we're at it, before I start cutting it up, let's take a look at the pump master results here under the glowy light. I'm gonna reposition it. There we go. And actually, let's hold it a little further. So we got another set of three there, and then everything this way. It's all from the Pump Master. Let's see, I think here we got a black, or let's see, Silent Cat. And actually, I think this one was a Piranha. I know I called it a Hollow Point in uh, the last uh, video when we were comparing it to that other Hollow Point down here, which is this one. So really, this one was the control shot that I shot. And it should really have been compared to this one. Let's see if I can refocus again. Let's back out a little bit. Anyway, so let's see. There's a hollow point here. We have the destroyer back here. We have a daisy pointed. Uh, this one was uh, the gold flight right there, I believe. Yeah, it is. We had a red fire here. A BB, I believe, here. And then we bought some more pellets, so we tried them out. This was, uh, again, the silent cat. And then uh, a crossman pointed. And then the hollow point for the control test, which gets compared to this one. So as you can see, this one shot a little further. I mentioned that uh, the first time I shot these these pellets here, I had uh, taken the gel out of the fridge, and maybe I didn't let it warm up enough, so it might have been a little more resistant on that day. Then uh, on the other day when I took these out, it was out for a while. So I took the gel out this day, and then I went shopping for these pellets. So by the time I came back, the gel was out for plenty of time to warm up. All right, so I'm going to start cutting it open to see what we find. All right, I got sliced up uh, the pump master side. Do uh, vigilantes next. They're still in that one. Anyway, this is kind of what I've been trying to get at. Now we can see if I hold on in the light correctly. You should be able to see the trajectory paths a little better. Focus here. Here we go. So this would have been the control shot hollow point shot. So the last shot fired in that test. And we can kind of get a little look at that path there. So let's see what does it look like from the other side. Alright, so that's a hollow point. Not seen a whole lot uh, of like uh, signs of tumbling or you know, not a lot of bubbles in that stream. It's pretty uh, streamlined to be honest. Boy, I'm having problems focusing with this. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's look at what the other pellets did. So we're just going in reverse order here from the way they were fired. So this is the, the crossman pointed. So this would have been in the my second batch of shots, which was just three shots for the pump master, but that looks like a very clean trail anyway. 
Goes from the other side here. Let's see pallet. Oh, it's not focusing for me. Try that. No? <laughs> sort of. I can kind of see the trail there. Let's see if I hold it up this way, maybe? Nah, that doesn't help. Actually, I think this is probably the better view. Alright, so there's a cross pointed. Shout out to the Pump Master. Now, this one is the Silent Cat. Rather expensive pellets, uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but I will say this. This one penetrated the furthest. Uh, I believe in both tests, yep. Yep, in the Vigilante too, I can see. But yeah, this is this is from the Pump Master though, this particular one. And it is the furthest shooting into the gel. Let's a quick look at that trail again. Try and focus it there. Entrance hole. Let's view from the other side quick. Let's see. Focus that pellet in there. Alright, next pellet. Alright, so this is actually the BB here. It's not a pellet. But yeah, I took a BB shot just to compare it to the pellets and how far it went and such. Out of the Palm Master. It's the other side. All right, next pellet. Here we have the Gamo Red Fire. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that trailer. Ooh, hard to hold everything at once, that's all. All right, uh, it's not focusing the best here. I don't know if you can see that trail though. Let me give you a view of the other side here quick. Alright, so anyway, the path on this one left was uh, quite a bit wider. It didn't go as deep maybe as some of the pellets did, but it left a nice wide path. can imagine what that does if you're hunting. Alright, next pellet. This is the Crossman Gold Flight Pellet. And that is its path. I don't know, it's a pretty nice uh, path too, it looks a little wider. So this is really a penetration pellet, usually used for uh, penetrating hard things such as like a thin metal or something. Alright, next pellet. Here we got your daisy pointed pellet. Looks like a, a little bit of bubbling damage or whatever up at the beginning there, which I'm kind of surprised for a pointed pellet. A lot of pointed pellets are usually cleaner. Uh, the, I mean, the stream afterwards did clean up quite a bit, but uh, at the beginning there we got some action going on. All right, Daisy pointed. Next pellet. This is a Crossman Destroyer pellet. It did not go very far. They're not designed to. They're designed to dump all their energy fast. And they do that almost every time I shoot them. <clears throat> so focus on the pellet. Ugh, not so much. Try it again. I got kind of a nice view. 
And these leave a bit of a wider path. They don't go in as far, but they do a lot of damage for the distance they do travel. All right, next pellet. All right, here we have hollow point on the first day of shooting. Like I said, I shot two hollow points. One is the control later, which you already saw that one. So this would have been the first hollow point that I shot on the first day of the shooting. So I don't know if you can kind of see the pellet in there. And there's the path going back. Get you a quick view from the other side. I don't know if that's going to help, though. It's kind of a bad cut on the side. Well, actually, maybe you can see it better even. Uh, okay. All right, next pellet. All right, so this is the last one shot. I usually start you off on the side, but it was not the greatest view here. So let's give you this side. But you can see a lot of damage at the front of this one. This is the Piranha, Crossman Piranha pellet. So that's kind of a wide uh, wound cavity there. Especially at the beginning. All right, that pretty much concludes them. I got another uh, silent cat I shot here in, in the very end, but that was uh, before I even videotaped it. It was just kind of a little test on my own before I made the video. Okay, on this side, we have the Crossman, or I'm sorry, the Daisy Pointed. And over here, we have a uh, Gamo Red Fire. See the tip came off there again. Alright, so there's the pointed. Daisy pointed, I'm sorry. Gamo Red Fire. Alright, next. Alright, here we got a Piranha and a Hollow Point. So let's take a look at the piranha first. Didn't go in super far to that uh, vigilante, but uh, it's, uh, 430 feet per second, and it's like a 10 pound or 10. I'm sorry, 10 green uh, pellet. So let's see. This is a hollow point. I believe it's a 7.9 green pellet. You can see that one went a little further. All right, got one more to look at. Now we're looking at Silent Cat. And I believe, oh, that's the Crossman Pointed. So these were the new ones I shot out of the Vigilante for the second time around. Quick look at the pass here. And the pointed. It's not the best cut, but let's see if you can see in there. This is tough holding the, the camera, the gel, <laughs> trying to focus it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're going to get a great look at that one. Take another overhead view. It's probably your best view on this one. All right, guys. Decided to go over these results, so I did. It's been Tom from Wisconsin for Everything Air Guns. You guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Please tell all your friends. Subscribe, subscribe. Take care, guys.